Catch Kristen's movie on the Hallmark Channel on December 7th. Catch Emily Simpson all season on the Housewives of Orange County. And Richard J. Alexander's always got everything going on. Let's go back to the phones. Amy from Illinois, what's your question? Hi. Um, my question is for um, Emily. And I'm, my question is, um, after seeing both sides of both Tamara and Kelly's uh, feud, um, how do you stay neutral? And um, how have you not uh, gone on to Kelly's side sooner? No, I've I've always been on on Kelly's side. I mean, I I I, I try to be friends with everyone, but um, I I definitely by the end of the season you'll see like it's pretty much Kelly and and me together. So. Okay, speaking of Kelly, let's go to Kelly from South Carolina, not Kelly Dodd. What's your question, <laughs> Kelly? Hi, Andy. Hi, Emily. Hi. And um, Kristen, love all of you. Um, I just wanted to ask uh, Kristen. You always are so lovely and kind and gracious every time I've ever seen you. Um, but I'm wondering, uh, I think everybody else is too, if you might have a caddy side or if you've ever had a meltdown maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> Richard, has she ever had a meltdown? You know what? The answer is yes, oh. and it <laughs> makes her human. It's yeah. who she is. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Better, you know what? It makes you more interesting because if you didn't, absolutely. I would say, right, what, 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 you know, is she a scientologist? That's right. <laughs> um, let's go She's to Jared from Iowa. Hey, Jared, what's your question? Hey, Daddy, how's it going? Good. How are Daddy. you, baby? <laughs> I'm good. Uh, this is Frisbee Jenkins from Iowa City. Look me up on Twitter. Okay. Uh, my questions for Emily. Okay. okay. Emily, I was wondering, do you think that Tamara is actually attracted to Boring Wind, <laughs> or is she just doing it for attention? Is she attracted to Bronwyn, do you think? Um, not, not as much as Bronwyn's attracted to Tamara. I, th yes. I think it's definitely like a 90-10. Like a yes. Yeah. I agree. All right, let's go to yeah. Kyle from New Jersey. Hey, Kyle, what's your question? Yeah. Hi, my question's for Kristen. Uh, Kristen, what is what do you miss most about working on Broadway, and what was the worst part about working on Broadway? Well, she just she's, I think you well, she's on still working on Broadway. I, I, I continue to go, you know, Broadway, yeah. TV, film. But when you're doing Broadway, the, the toughest thing is about, is eight times a week. Yeah. Um, at two shows on Wednesday and two shows on Saturday, and um, but everything else, I think about the people that haven't been to a Broadway show, and um, that's what keeps me going because I think somebody out there has never been to a Broadway oh, show, oh, and that's why I do it. That's really. that's, that's a great. Idea. How long have you lived in New York? Okay, so when was 1996? Um, right. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't do um, math. Yeah, uh, 24 years. So that's right, how long? About. Uh, let's go to Rich from Philly. Hey, Rich, what's your question? Hi, my question is for Emily. I know that last year she said she was struggling with the way people on social media were reacting to her. I was just wondering that now that she's in her second season, if there's been a more positive reaction. Oh, there. that's a good question. Oh, yeah. Was it about the body? Was no, just, just you, you just had me. a rough time reacting to people. People were nasty to you on social media yeah. last year. Well, there's you still... talked about it was because uh, they were body shaming you, yeah. but it could be anything. I feel like that's kind of turned around now because I have so many women that reach out to me and say the most positive things and I, I love it. I feel like I'm just, like Kristen is super, super tiny and I'm big and curvy and we're both beautiful. So it's a representation of all types of yes. women. Yes. Yes. Well, I think the other great thing is you're also, you're very, you, are very self-deprecating and I you're, you're very that. honest yeah. about it. Yeah. Yet you're also, um, you know, upfront and vulnerable. I mean, you're every side of it, which yeah. I think is really relatable. Right. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's go to Heather from Minnesota. Hey, Heather, what's your question? Hi, Andy. Thanks for taking my call. My question is for Kirst uh, Kirsten. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I answered all. I'm a, I'm a, sorry. 
<laughs> I'm a huge fan of the mask singer, and I'm wondering if you have any strong feelings towards the flamingo. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well, okay, are you watching? I have been asked to be on it several times. Yes. And the thing is, is has anyone heard me talk? <laughs> I mean, oh, they I would mean, know who you were right away. Right. I mean, yeah, yeah. Right. You know, I could do I do many styles with my voice. I could do opera and right. pop and country. Right. But I think I just I would just I just enjoy watching it. Who do you think the flamingo is? Any idea? No, I, no. I'm still waiting. I'm still. But don't you love how everyone's like, oh my God, is it, um, is it Ariana Grande? Uh huh. Is it Christina the, Aguilera? Yeah, is it Christina Aguilera? Yeah. And then it's like, oh, it's, um, uh, <laughs> you know, Tori Spelling. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's and so, I think that would be hilarious if it were. I know. You yeah, know? exactly. But I, like, I'm, I'm excited uh, to see. No, it's not Beyonce <laughs> in the goose outfit. <laughs> I want to thank Kristen and Emily and Richard for more. Click around Bravo TV Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.